Abraham from Jerusalem. Today we will be learning how to constrain bones. Yes, constraining bones saves a lot of work because it limits the bone for um, doing movements uh, that are, that are impossible or we don't want them to be done. For this tutorial, we'll be using a sample file that comes with um, Studio Pro number five and it's located under the folder where the program is installed the name of the folder is tutorials the name of the file is tutorial 3.2 open this is the path for the file we're looking for and we open in tutorial 3.2 and there it is see we have a cartoon monster and a arm now note that the arm has two bones, two major bones, and what is this? This is not an arm. This is not normal. We want to limit this movement. We want to constrain it. So nothing wrong happens on our animation. So for that, we'll be using first the Select Bone tool. Please note that we selected the bone a bone constraint drop down shows at the top of the screen and we're going to constrain the angles the default minus 70 becomes minus 10 uh, for our sake and the maximum is going to be 100 giving some uh, uh, opening for our arm but not allowing it to go all the way around now it's also very important after closing it to name this constraint uh, we'll be needing this further on so trust me we're going to name it forearm constraint all right that's all we need over here on the bone tools we have manipulate bone and if we try to move see the arm is already limited and only does healthy movements that's it for this tutorial um, thank you very much see the next tutorial as soon as you can